In this video, I will show you how to generate a seed phrase on your cold card using dice rolls. Your Bitcoin seed phrase must be random to protect your Bitcoin. The cold card uses a random number generator to generate that randomness. But in this case, we're going to use our own dice rolls to generate that randomness. After we've generated a seed with dice rolls, I will show you how to verify that your cold card has produced the correct seed phrase from those dice rolls. The same dice rolls should always produce the same seed phrase. And we want to make sure that our cold card is producing the correct seed phrase and not producing a malicious seed phrase that may steal our Bitcoin. For me personally, I like to roll dice and create two seeds. The first seed I verify the dice roll math for using an online tool. And then because I put my dice rolls online and my seed phrase has been online, I delete that wallet and I don't actually store Bitcoin on there. But once I have verified that my cold card is using the dice rolls correctly, I then go ahead and create a new seed with my uh, a new set of dice rolls. And then I use that seed phrase for my Bitcoin. So I'll show you how to do all of that in this video. And let's get started. The first step is to actually go ahead and roll some dice. Then with your dice rolls, you want to record them on a piece of paper. And then you want to do 50 dice rolls if you want a 12 word seed phrase. And you'll do 100 dice rolls if you want a 24 word seed phrase. It's super important that you write down or use your dice rolls as they lie. So mine have landed like this from left to right. So I'm going to be using my dice rolls from left to right. So here I'll write down 21125. There I've written down my first five dice rolls. In this video we'll be doing a 12 word seed phrase. So I'm going to do this until I've got 50 rolls. A few tips for when you're rolling your dice. You want to roll your dice on a really bouncy surface so the outcome is truly random. The more the dice bounce around, the more random the outcome will be. Secondly, you always want to take your dice rolls either as they lie or in the order you roll them. And this is just to make sure that the process is truly random. Humans are bad at generating randomness, so just let their dice do their thing. All right, I've gone ahead and rolled dice. And here I've got 50 dice rolls, which is enough to create a 12 word seed phrase. So let's go ahead and boot up our cold card. Here I have my cold card booted up and unlocked. And I already have a seed loaded here. So before I can load up a new seed with dice rolls, I need to quickly wipe the one that's currently on my cold card. To do this, I'm going to scroll down until I see advanced forward slash tools. I click the tick on that. Then I need to scroll down all the way until I see danger zone at the bottom here. So I click tick on danger zone. Then I scroll down one, I click on seed functions. And now here we have the option to destroy our seed. Now, if you have Bitcoin on the seed phrase, you have to ensure you have this backed up before you destroy the seed. Otherwise your Bitcoin will be gone. The seed phrase that's currently loaded on this cold card has no Bitcoin. So I'm comfortable to destroy that seed. And it's going to ask us if we're sure and give us a bit of a disclaimer. I'm sure, so I'm gonna click this check. And then it's going to ask us again. It's reminding us that if this seed phrase that's loaded has Bitcoin on, we need a backup. This has got no Bitcoin on in my case. So I'm just gonna scroll down and then it says press four to prove you have read this message. I'm gonna click four. And there we go. Our cold card has rebooted and it has wiped the seed. I'm quickly going to unlock this again and then we can go ahead and create a new seed from these dice rolls. All right, here I have my cold card unlocked and to create a new seed with dice rolls, we wanna click new seed words. And then we wanna scroll down to the bottom here and select either 24 word with dice rolls or 12 words with dice rolls. Here I've got 50, so I'm going to select 12 words. Now what we need to do is enter each dice roll individually. So my first five are two, one, one, two, five. So I just go two, one, one, two, five. My second five are six, six, two, four, one. So I go six, six, two, four, one. And then I'm going to do this until I have all 50 dice rolls in the cold card. All right, I have inserted all 50 rolls in my cold card. So now I'm going to click this check mark over here. 
and then here are my 12 words. So what I'm going to do is write down these 12 words here with my dice rolls. All right, I've got all 12 words written down with my dice rolls over here. And just a reminder, this first set of dice rolls and this first seed phrase is for testing purposes. We're gonna put these dice rolls online, so I wouldn't actually use these dice rolls and this seed phrase to secure any Bitcoin. So let's go back to our cold card here, scroll down, and it's going to say, please check and double check your notes. There will be a test. So I'm going to proceed by clicking the check mark and it's going to give us a quick test. So word six for me is win, so I'm going to click win. Word one is lake, so I click lake, and I do this for all 12 words. All right, all 12 words have been confirmed, and it's just applying that seed to our cold card. And again, all of this is for testing purposes, so we're just gonna speed through this. I'm going to disable that and disable that, and we can move on from here onto our computer to verify that our cold card has produced this, the correct seed from these dice rolls. All right, here I am on my computer and our job now is to insert these dice rolls into different tools and make sure we get the same outcome, the same seed phrase. There are two main ways to do this. There is a quick and easy way, which I'll show you first. And there's a bit of a more challenging way, which you can find in cold cards docs. So let me quickly show you how to do the quick and easy way. Firstly, open any browser of your choice. Here I am in Firefox, and we want to go to one of two websites, either iancolman.io forward slash bip39, or we wanna to go to bitcoiner.guide forward slash seed. In this video, I will be using this one, bitcoiner.guide forward slash seed. So what we wanna do is scroll down on this website until we see seed generation forward slash input. We're gonna click on that. Then we're going to click on dice rolls over here. Now what we wanna do is just enter the dice rolls that we rolled in this website. So here I have my dice rolls. I'm going to quickly enter these into this tool. All right, so I've entered all 50 dice rolls into the C tool and we wanna make sure this is set to dice over here. So just make sure that's on dice and we wanna make sure this is on 12 words. Now we're just going to scroll down until we see this, the BIP39 mnemonic. And we need to compare that with what our cold card got. So here on this paper, I see lake, either, sword, evoke, and that matches. Next I see scene, win, spoon, merry, which matches scene, win, spoon, merry. And finally, I see alley, track, account, shaft, which again matches. So now according to bitcoin.guide, we know that our cold card isn't doing anything malicious. You may wanna check this across another source. So let's copy this long set of dice rolls and let's put it in Ian Coleman as well. Here in Ian Coleman, I'm going to make sure show entropy details is toggled on. And then it's going to ask us for entropy or randomness. In our case, this is dice rolls. So I'm gonna paste those dice rolls in. We just wanna make sure that it is set to 12 words over here. And then if we scroll down, we'll notice it's not the same seed. So the reason for this is that in Ian Coleman, we actually need to select base 10 over here. So make sure you're on base 10, and then you will see I've got the same seed words here. Lake, either, sword, evoke, scene, wind, spoon, Mary, and then alley, track, account, and shaft. So now Bitcoin.guide and Ian Coleman both agree that my seed phrase is correct. Now let's take a look at another way to verify this dice roll math using cold cards docs. Now this is a bit more complicated, but I'll show you every step along the way. So here on coldcard.com forward slash docs, we wanna click on user guide. And then under here on number 33, we wanna click on verifying dice roll math. And then they'll give you a bit of background and how many rolls you need, but we're not interested in that. We're going to scroll down to duplicating our math. So to verify the dice roll math, the cold card way, we wanna scroll down and we want to download these two files, rolls.py and rolls12.py. So I'm going to double click and then go save link as, and I'll put it in my downloads folder. So I'll save that. And then I also need rolls12.py. So I double click, save link as, and then save. You'll need rolls.py if you're doing 24 words and if you've got 12 words like me, you'll need rolls12.py. 
So what I'd need to do now is open my terminal. So I'm going to search at the top right of my screen terminal and then click on my terminal. Now we need to run this line over here in our terminal, but we want to replace these dice rolls with our dice rolls that we rolled. Just by the way, when you run this command, your computer may ask you to download some software. I've already done that previously. So just go ahead and do that if you need to. All right, so in my terminal, the first thing we want to do is to tell our computer to look into that downloads folder where rolls.py and rolls12.py are sitting. So in my case, I downloaded them to my downloads folder over here. So in my terminal, I want to go, I want to type CD, which stands for change directory. And then I'm going to say downloads. So that's basically going to open my downloads folder. And now the terminal can now see and use these files. Next, let's just do a test run and make sure that everything's working. I'm going to copy this line here, starting from echo. I'm going to copy that, paste that in my terminal, click return or enter. And we should see the same words that we see here. And if we briefly take a look, yeah, I see the same words. So everything's working as it should. What we want to do now is input our dice rolls here instead of using those dice rolls. In my case, I did a 12 word seed phrase. So I need to scroll down here and use this one instead. So what I'm going to do is copy that and then paste it in my notes first. Now what I'm going to do is insert my personal dice rolls here where these dice rolls currently are sitting. So let me go ahead and insert all 50 rolls quickly. All right, here are all my dice rolls now sitting within this command. So I want to copy this command now with my personal dice rolls, go back to my terminal, and I'm going to paste that in and click return or enter. And now here are the 12 words that my cold card should have produced. And if I look at my paper here, I can see they are the same. Lake either sword, evoke scene win, spoon Mary Alley, track account shaft. So now we know that our cold card is using the dice rolls correctly and not producing any malicious seed phrases. So what we would do now is wipe this seed off the cold card, throw this away, disregard it. We don't need that anymore. We would roll new dice rolls, a fresh set of dice rolls. We'd input that in the cold card and then we'd get a seed phrase that we won't test again. We don't want those dice rolls online. We've already tested that the cold card does what it should. So I trust that the next set of dice rolls I put in the cold card will be the correct seed phrase. Again, this seed phrase must not be used. It's been put online. We need to generate a completely new seed phrase with a completely new set of dice rolls. Let me quickly explain one more time how to generate a seed from your dice rolls. Step one is to actually go ahead and roll some dice. And then what you wanna do is take these dice as they land. You don't want to pick the dice with your human brain because humans are not good at producing randomness. So let the dice do their thing. Either pick them up as they land from left to right or make sure you pick them up as you roll them. So if I roll this dice first, I make sure to write that down first. If I roll this one, uh, this one second, then I write that one down second. All right, so let me quickly go ahead and roll a fresh set of 50 dice and I'm going to write them down on this piece of paper. All right, I've gone ahead and rolled 50 dice rolls. Let's move over to the cold card. The first thing we wanna do is erase the seed that's currently loaded on the cold card. To do this, I'm gonna scroll down to advanced forward slash tools, then scroll all the way down until I see danger zone over there. So I click on danger zone, then I click seed functions, and then I click destroy seed. Now it's just gonna give us a warning telling us that this will wipe the seed words and reset the wallet. So if you have any funds on uh, the seed words currently loaded, make sure that is backed up, otherwise your Bitcoin will be gone. So I've got no Bitcoin loaded on this wallet currently loaded. So I'm going to just click on this check mark to proceed. And then it's just going to make sure you're really certain you have this either backed up or the Bitcoin is wiped from the seed phrase. So I don't have any Bitcoin here. I'm going to scroll down and it says press four to pre prove you have read this message. So I press four and there we go. My seed has been wiped. 
Now I'm just gonna have to re-enter my password quickly. There we go, my cold card is unlocked. So now what I wanna do is click new seed words at the top of my screen there. Then I want to scroll down to 24 word dice rolls or 12 word dice rolls. Here I've got 50 rolls, so I'm going to click on 12 word dice rolls. All right, now what I need to do is insert these dice that I rolled into the cold card one at a time. So here I've got six, five, one, five, one. So I go six, five, one, five, one. And then I'm going to do that until all 50 rolls are in the device. All right, I've entered all 50 rolls. You're welcome to insert more dice rolls if you wish, but 50 rolls is enough for 12 words. So I'm going to click on this check mark to proceed. And here are the 12 words that these dice rolls produced. Now at this stage, what I suggest you do is take a new piece of paper and write down all 12 words or 24 words on this piece of paper, the new piece of paper. And then once that's done, we're gonna get rid of these dice rolls. You should probably burn these or, or make sure that nobody can ever access them. It's probably best that you burn them. Now I'm going to write down my recovery phrase or my seed words. All right, here I have all 12 words written down. So I'm going to click on the tick to proceed and then it's going to give us a quick test on what our seed words are. So it's asking what word three is. For me, that's poem. So I click on poem. Next word 11 is top. So I click on top and then I do that until all 12 words are done. All right, I've been tested on all these words. Now it's going to ask me if I'd like to enable NFC so that I can tap this on my phone. I'm going to disable that. And then it's asking me if I wish to disable USB ports. I want to disable that, so I'm going to click on the check mark. And there we go, it says disabled. Let me make it clear that these seed words you have written down back up all your Bitcoin. You really need to secure these, make sure these words are somewhere safe, and also make sure they're somewhere private so no one can access them. Anyone with these words can steal your Bitcoin. So if your cold card breaks or it vanishes, you lose it, you need these words to access your Bitcoin and anyone with these words also has your Bitcoin. So it's really important that you secure this recovery phrase. All right, so now we've generated a seed with our own source of randomness with those dice rolls. What you would do next is export this wallet's public keys onto a wallet like Sparrow Wallet then you can start receiving and sending Bitcoin. I'll show you how to use your cold card with Sparrow Wallet in the next video of the cold card guides. All the cold card guides can be found on my website, southernbitcoiner.com and in a playlist on my YouTube channel. And if you find these videos valuable, consider funding them by sending a tip. I will leave a link to that below. Cheers, everyone.